In this tutorial, I will explain which LoRa EndNote products are available today and how you can build your own LoRa development board. All LoRa EndNotes must have a microcontroller, for example, Atmega32, a LoRa radio module, for example, SX1276, and an antenna. There are many LoRa EndNote products available, such as LoRa development boards, where the microcontroller and the LoRa radio module are integrated on a printed circuit board. Here are two examples. Here's the microcontroller, here's the LoRa radio module, and here's the built-in antenna. Here's another LoRa development board. Here's the microcontroller, the radio module, and the built-in antenna. There are also LoRa radio shields. To be used, for example, with an Arduino board. This is such a shield. It only has a LoRa radio module and an antenna connector, but no microcontroller. Here is another LoRa radio shield. Here is the LoRa radio module and antenna connector. And this shield has no microcontroller. And we also have LoRa breakout boards. The LoRa radio module is mounted on an adapter plate. This is such a LoRa breakout board. Here is the LoRa radio module, and this is the adapter plate. And here is another LoRa breakout board. This is the LoRa radio module, the adapter plate, and the antenna connector PCB mount. As you can see, the solder connection distance is 2 mm, but the solder connections on the adapter plates have a spacing of 2.54 mm. The adapter plate is needed, for example, to easily mount it on the breadboard. And we also have the LoRa radio modules itself. This LoRa radio module is from the company Hope RF, and this one is from the company Microchip. For educational purpose, I have built my own LoRa development board. It consists of a LoRa radio module, adapter plate, and call antenna, as you can see over here. Total cost is eight euros and seven cents. It consists of a LoRa radio module. I have used the Hope RF RFM95 868 MHz. One piece costs 6 euros and 98 cents. Next, I have used the ESP8266 Wi-Fi adapter plate plus two pin headers. I have paid 90 cents for this adapter plate. The only reason why this adapter plate is needed is to easily mount it on the breadboard. Next, I needed a copper wire. Diameter is one millimeter. The length is one meters and I've paid 90 cents. The copper wire was needed to create this call antenna. How the LoRa radio module, this module, is mounted on an adapter plate, see this tutorial. This tutorial also includes YouTube videos. How the copper 868 MHz call antenna is built, this antenna. See this tutorial. This tutorial also includes YouTube videos. Next, we need additional components such as Arduino Uno, you can also use a clone, a breadboard, jumper wires, and pin headers. The total cost is 5 euros and 56 cents. You can buy an Arduino Uno clone for 2 euros and 69 cents. The mini breadboard costs 34 cents. You need jumper wires, male, female, length is 20 centimeters and the pin diameter is 2.54 millimeters. For 40 pieces, I paid 88 cents, but only three pieces are needed in this project. Next, you need additional jumper wires, male, male. Length is 20 centimeters. Pin diameter is 2.54 millimeters. For 40 pieces, I paid 88 cents, but only nine pieces are needed in this project. And pin headers, these pin headers. Each pin header has 8 pins and the pin diameter is 2.54 millimeters. For 10 pieces I paid 77 cents, but only 4 pieces are needed in this project. Two pin headers stack on top of each other and you do the same on this side and then you mount the LoRa radio module on the pin headers. This is the self-built LoRa development board.
The self-built lower development board total cost is 13 euros and 63 cents. The development board consists of the lower radio module, adapter plate, and coil antenna. Total cost is 8 euros and 7 cents. And the Arduino Uno, breadboard, jumper wires, and pin headers. Total cost 5 euros and 56 cents. The above mentioned products can be found on AliExpress. That's a Chinese web shop. Based on this self-built LoRa development board, I will explain in the next videos which LoRa EndNote library to install on the Arduino board and how to configure it, how to register this LoRa EndNote on the Things network, and how to install a temperature and humidity sensor on this development board. Please note, I assume you have access to a LoRa gateway. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.